Hi everyone and welcome to Germany for Student channel. Today is lesson number 15 of A2 level of German language course. And the topic we are going to cover today is Neben Zetse mit Weil. This is the continuity of lesson number 14. In lesson number 14, we covered one possible scenario of using Neben Zetse mit Weil. And in today's lesson, we will cover the second option or second possibility we will see the rules and examples so let's start the lesson the first example is ish bin krank and the second part of this example is ish bleibe zu hause so if we look at these sentences one sentence is uh, describing a situation and second sentence is describing the reason of uh, that particular situation. So, so the situation is I stay at home. Uh, why I stay at, at home? The reason is uh, ich bin krank, I am sick. So the reason will be described in the Nebensatz and Hauptsatz will describe the uh, situation or any statement. The rule to make the Nebensatz uh, is that we have to put while which means because um, that will come at the first position. Soon after that, uh, subject will be there. And at the third position, there can be object. Um, if I say object, it can also be a preposition or something like that, that will come after um, the subject. The verb, conjugated verb will come at the last position of the sentence and then there will be a comma which will indicate that the Nabans arts has completed here. Now let's have a look at the sentence structure of Hauptsatz here. It will start with a verb. Uh, so you will put two verbs one after the other. Both verbs must be separated by a comma. If it is not separated with a comma, grammatically it will be wrong. So you have to uh, take care of this comma. If you take an exam of A2 and you write any uh, Nebensatz and Hauptsatz uh, in following this pattern um, and you forget this comma, um, the teacher may or the examiner may uh, deduct some marks for this. Let's look at uh, the Hauptsatz sentence structure again. A verb will be the first at first position, uh, which will be followed by subject. And uh, at the third position, there will be the object. Uh, again, at the position of object, there can be preposition or anything else. Uh, so let's combine the above mentioned two sentences so that we can see uh, how they will look like if we combine them. Nebensatz uh, will start with while, then uh, I have put the subject ish. Uh, then comes the adjective, which is krank, uh, because I mentioned that in position of object, there can be a preposition or adjective, etc. And then it comes uh, the verb, which is sein, and it has conjugated according to the subject ish. So sein becomes bin if the subject is ish. Uh, while ish krank bin, then comes a comma. Next sentence is um, ish bleibe zu Hause, but you are, since you are putting it in this sentence structure uh, that you are explaining first the reason, and then you are giving the situation. The situation is ish bleibe zu Hause, but if you put it in a context where you have to write Nebensatz first and Hauptsatz after that, then you will start the Hauptsatz with verb and will conjugate it according to the subject that will come at the second position. Since the subject is ish, the verb bleiben will become bleibe and will come at the first position bleibe ish zu Hause, at home. While ich krank bin, bleibe ich zu Hause. Now let's look at uh, the next example. As regnet, it's raining. Ich bleibe zu Hause. Now again, you see Hauptsatz is uh, the same sentence. Ich bleibe zu Hause. The reason is different. Um, in the first sentence, the reason was that I am sick. In the second sentence, the reason is uh, it's raining. So uh, let's put 
this sentence again in a Nebensatz and Hauptsatz combination. It will become while as regnet. We have followed the same sentence structure. While is, uh, we have put it at the first position as regnet. Then comes a comma and Hauptsatz is the same as uh, in the first sentence. Verbs come at the first position. Uh, then comes the subject, which is ish and su hause. While as regnet, bleibe ish su hause. Another example, Paul hat einen Hund. Paul has a dog. Er geht jeden Tag spazieren. So, Paul hat einen Hund is the reason why he daily goes for a walk. So, why we have put einen Hund here is because Hund is the object of the sentence and object is in accusative case. Therefore, the indefinite article for a masculine noun Hund is einen. So let's put it in the Nebensatz and Hauptsatz combination. While Paul einen Hund hat, Geht er jeden Tag spazieren. So if you look at the Nebensatz, it again starts with while, then comes the subject, which is Paul, einen Hund, which is the object of the sentence, and the verb, which we have conjugated according to the subject Paul, uh, we have put it at the last position of the Nebensatz. And Hauptsatz will start with uh, the verb, which is gehen, and it is conjugated according to the subject er, so it becomes geht. Jeden Tag spazieren. Spazieren gehen is a separable verb, therefore we have to separate it. Now let's look at another uh, situation where we have uh, Nebensatz, but Nebensatz is imperfect. So how will then it look like? While will come at the first position, so irrespective of whether uh, Nebensatz has perfect or not, while will come at the first position, second position uh, will be occupied by the subject of the sentence, then comes object again, or in place of object, there can be adjective or a preposition, uh, then comes participles why, uh, what is participles why, we have covered it in uh, a one level of German language, it is the uh, third form of the verb, you can say, uh, because we are using perfect tense, therefore we will always use participle y form uh, of the verb. And at the last position, we will use sein verb or haben verb and we'll conjugate it according to the subject of the sentence. Uh, in what situation we have to use sein and haben, this we have uh, also covered in uh, A1 level of German language course, you can uh, go to the uh, particular lesson of A1 level of German language course on my channel and look at this, uh, how you can select sein and when you have to select haben. And there will be a comma after the conjugated sein or haben. So with that comma, you will separate um, the Nebensatz with the Hauptsatz. Now let's look at the sentence structure of Hauptsatz. It is same as we have seen in the previous slide. Uh, Hauptsatz will start with verb, then comes the subject, and at the last position, we will be having the object of the sentence. Now, let's look at the example. Lisa hat die Prüfung nicht bestanden. Lisa didn't pass the exam. Sie ist traurig. She is sad. Reason is described in the Nebensatz. And the reason is that Lisa didn't pass the exam. So it will come in the Nebensatz. And the reality is that she is um, sad. Now, if we combine this sentence in Nebensatz and Hauptsatz, we will start the sentence with while, then comes the subject, which is Lisa, then comes the object, which is the Prüfung. Nicht bestanden hat. So um, we have used the verb bestehen and we have used the participle y form of 
this verb which is bestanden and uh, next comes the conjugated sein or haben for bestehen verb we have to use haben verb and we have to conjugate it according to the subject which is lisa so haben uh, become hat then there will be a comma and we will start the hauptsatz hauptsatz starts with verb verb in the sentence is ist so it will come at the first position and z is the subject of the sentence sein verb uh, we have used here and uh, for z the conjugation of sein is ist and at the last position of the sentence we have used uh, traurig which is one adjective as i mentioned earlier uh, in the place of object there can be uh, any adjective or any preposition or something like that uh, next example er hat nicht an die prüfung teilgenommen he hasn't taken part in the examination teilnehmen is the verb which means to take part or to participate er muss erneut lernen he must learn again now the fact is that he must learn again and the reason is uh, that he didn't take part in the examination now if we put them in the nebensatz and hauptsatz together in one sentence and start the sentence with the nebensatz we will follow the sentence structure that while will come at the first position second position uh, will be dedicated for the subject which is er nicht an die prüfung teilgenommen hat weil er nicht an die prüfung teilgenommen hat again uh, we have used haben or sein verb for teilnehmen verb or for this particular situation uh, we will use haben and will conjugate it according to the subject er so it will become hat and now it's uh, interesting to know that how we will use the hauptsatz because uh, hauptsatz has also two verbs so we have modal verb and we have a normal verb and if we have two verbs like uh, one modal verb and one normal verb in the hauptsatz then the conjugated verb will come at the first position the conjugated verb is in this case modal verb which is muss so muss will come at the first position and at the second position we will be having um, the subject of sentence which is er erneut again lernen so lernen which is the infinitive form of again lernen that will come at the last position of the sentence so so you really have to check uh, not only the nebensatz if it is in the uh, perfect form then how the verb will be placed you also have to check the uh, hauptsatz uh, if you are using modal verb like we have used in this situation you have to put the right verb at the right position ich bin zu spät zur uni gekommen ich habe eine vorlesung verpasst so i have come to the university too late i have missed one lecture again if we put these sentences in a single sentence i will start with the nebensatz and i will put while at the first position at the next position it will be subject zu spät zur uni gekommen bin that is important that it has to be at the last position of the sentence um, now common is a verb when we use this common verb in perfect tense then we always have to use sein verb sein verb will be conjugated according to the subject of sentence which is ich so sein will become bin so ich while ich zu spät zur uni gekommen bin uh, the comma will come and after that we will start the hauptsatz with the verb that is conjugated according to the subject and that verb is haben so according to the subject ish it will become habe 
habe ich eine Vorlesung verpasst. So, now you have seen that the Hauptsatz was also uh, in the perfect tense and if Hauptsatz is also in the perfect tense, then you have to use the conjugated sein or haben verb at the first position and the participles why which was fair past in this sentence uh, will come at the last position of the sentence now let's look at another type of sentences where there will be a model verb in the neben arts how will be the sentence structure important is to know that which verb has to be conjugated according to what and what will be its place in the sentence now let's look at the sentence structure of neben arts while will come at the first position at second position we will be having subject next comes object or adjective or preposition then comes the verb and at the last position we will be having model verb which we have to conjugate according to the subject of the sentence so model verb will be conjugated according to the subject of sentence and the other verb that comes at fourth position this will be in the infinitive form because whenever we use model verb um, in a sentence the other verb will always remain in the infinitive form so let's look at the hauptsatz Uh, hauptsatz will start with the verb at second position we will use subject and at third position uh, we will use object object again can have um, at third position we can have any adjective or any preposition uh, let's look at the example lisa möchte nach deutschland gehen lisa would like to go germany sie lernt deutsch she is learning german Now, if we put them together, while Lisa nach Deutschland gehen möchte, lernt sie Deutsch. Now, you see that while is the at first position, at second position, we have used Lisa, which is the subject of sentence, nach Deutschland, and then comes verb, which is gehen. So, it will remain gehen because we have used um, model verb here and we have conjugated it according to the subject of the sentence so model verb is conjugated according to the subject of sentence and the second verb will remain in the infinitive form so gehen will remain gehen um, then comes a comma and hauptsatz will start with the verb which is lernen and this verb is again conjugated according to subject z and has become learned and last position is deutsch which language she is learning she is learning german next example er möchte die prüfung bestehen he would like to pass the exam er muss viel lernen he must learn a lot let's combine this sentence while er die prüfung bestehen möchte muss er viel lernen so now it is again interesting sentence because both nebensatz and hauptsatz have um, modal verbs in it and you can see that uh, both verbs will come after another and uh, both verbs will be conjugated according to the subject of the sentence and if both sentences have modal verbs and one other verb the other verb in both sentences will remain in the infinitive form while er die prüfung bestehen möchte bestehen is the main verb which will remain uh, bestehen because uh, we are using modal verb and we have conjugated it according to the subject er in the second or in the haupt sentence um muss er viel lernen so the conjugated verb will come at the first position then comes er then comes viel and uh, the infinitive verb will come at the last position of the sentence next example paul kann das haus nicht kaufen paul cannot buy the house 
Er kauft eine Wohnung. He buys an apartment. So if we combine both sentences, weil Paul das Haus nicht kaufen kann, kauft er eine Wohnung. Again, the sentence will start with weil, then comes the subject Paul, then comes the object das Haus, and we have to negate it, therefore we will use nicht, and then comes kaufen, which is the main verb of the sentence, and because we are using a model verb in the Nebensatz, we will use the infinitive form of kaufen, so infinitive form is kaufen, and we have conjugated the model verb according to the subject Paul, so we have put the uh, conjugated verb at the last position, then comes a comma and a space, then we will start with the Hauptsatz. Hauptsatz starts with verb, which is conjugated according to the subject er. So kaufen becomes kauft. And a second position, we have subject, which is er. And at third position, we have object, which is eine Wohnung. So while Paul das Haus nicht kaufen kann, Kauft er eine Wohnung. I hope that this topic is clear to you now. If you have any questions regarding this topic, you can put it in the comments. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do it now uh, so that you can complete the free A2 level of German language course on my channel. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.